Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. I had a question uh, when I was, when I did the pepper video regarding how to store these jars and what I show my pantry um, and how I store them. And you're not going to get a tour of the pantry, sorry, we're not there yet. But I do want to tell you what I'm doing with the smaller jars like this. I will put a link uh, in the info cards and in the description box below to a video I did back in November of 19 uh, regarding stacking and the various uh, reasons and information uh, that I based my decision on to not stack jars. Now, it's a big controversy, you know, people that stack are, are adamant about why they do and how it's just fine and I'm, you know, I prefer to go with actual solid information. So, most of my smaller jars like this, I do buy new unless I can find them, and it's rare lately that I find them. So, you know, they're jars, okay? But um, these that I canned the peppers in were new, they were new jars that I had stashed up on my counter uh, pretty much right about the beginning of March last year. So I, I always, always save the cardboard. Even when it's empty, I save the cardboard. Phil knows, do not get rid of her cardboard because she might try to kill you, okay? So I just washed all of these pepper jars and the rings, and now I'm going to get busy getting them all ready for the pantry. So when I'm, when I'm putting these in the pantry, the difference with these is that even though um, they're small and they won't take up, you know, they'll take up more room if I leave them singly, um, I leave them in the cardboard. Because if you have to stack, if you have to stack, if you have no choice, um, then you want to make sure that there is a nice thick corrugated cardboard between the layers. That takes any pressure off and takes away um, possibilities regarding false seals. Okay, As I discussed in that video, and I hope you'll go check it out, um, I show how the compound on the newer lids, newer meaning you know the last few years, is significantly thinner than the old style lids. So if grandma always stacked them and she didn't have a problem, she had a much thicker compound on the, on the flats than we do today. Um, for anybody that has been fortunate enough to run across uh, uh, you know, a find at an estate sale or a garage sale for old rounds that are still in the box, never been used, all that fun stuff, um, I get questions about, hey, should, you know, can we use them? Are they safe? Number one, it's a personal choice, okay, um, because they changed the, the compound that they use due to the chemicals. Um, the BPA is something that, you know, everyone wanted out of anything regarding their food for good reason. So um, they changed that compound. But the difference in the compound is, is visibly different, and you can see it in that video if you want to go take a look. So, <clears throat> pardon me, um, that is why, that is why um, I say no. Now, what I do do is this, okay? Can you see all of that? Yes. So let me bring you up just a little bit more. Um, when I wash them, I put them on the towel, <clears throat> and then I move them over to uh, the box. And there's always invariably a little bit of water, so it gets a little... A little damp but it's not a problem and you still want to dry them off as much as you can before labeling them so when I am stacking um, these kinds of jars right in my pantry I'm using this if you don't have the box because like I said most of my jars are used okay but if I see somebody getting rid of these boxes I'm like can I have it please can I have it? can I have it? Um, if you work in an office, you know the uh, bulk uh, cases of paper that are purchased. Oftentimes I will uh, snag up those lids also, whatever I can find. But you really want, you want to have a nice, decent thickness corrugated cardboard to go in between them if you are going to stack them. <clears throat> Would I go higher than this? No, I really wouldn't. Uh, especially if it's pints. Quartz always worry me if people stack quartz because they just can, you know, teeter so much because um, they're so big. Pints are normally, you know, about this size. 
as far as diameter. So you can you can make those work, but I am just I'm still always remarkably uncomfortable. When I have done pantry tours in the past, uh, invariably somebody always says, "You really need something on the shelves to you know to earthquake proof it, so on and so forth." But uh, you know, while we live on a fault line, legitimately we we don't get earthquakes. Um, I think I've felt an earthquake twice in my entire life in Michigan. I've spent most of my life in Michigan. Um, and it's something that could happen. And it's something that honestly, I will probably incorporate at some point this year. But <clears throat> if you're stacking jars, and that's something that you need to take into consideration also, you know, any movement, any, any accidental bumping, anything like that, you need to make sure that they're secure, which is why I really like keeping these boxes. So when I put these into my pantry, this is how they will go in. And it will take up just exactly that amount of room. Uh, and that's all good with me because the height matches similar to pint jars. And I have the shelves on our shelving units in the pantry set to the height of quart jars. If you wanted to, if I wanted to, I might trust three high on this, okay? Because these are half pints. Seriously, that's the only reason. But because of weight or anything else, I really want to avoid uh, the options of false seals. I really want to avoid not being able to see what's going on. Um, when I go through, you know, two, three times a year to check on my jars, I have to move these. I have to test all the jars. And it's just an extra added step. But to conserve space when it comes to this size jar, um, I will definitely be putting one on top of the other on the shelving because it conserves the space and allows me to utilize the space that I have a little bit better. So my question to you is, do you stack your jars? Um, how high do you stack your jars? I recommend never going more than two, especially when you're looking at pints and uh, quartz really does give me the heebie-jeebies. When you're looking at small jars like this, because the weight is not as much, you could possibly look at three, but you always want to make sure that there is a nice corrugated um, cardboard in between, or even, you know, those election signs or, you know, millage signs around your, your home, you know, your city, your township, whatever. Um, I tend to pick up those when I see them, when people are done with them because those are corrugated most of the time also. And so I can use those plastic ones, those are reusable. So I have a few of those uh, also saved in the breezeway, just in case to keep them all separated. It helps preserve the jars. Nobody wants to work hard to preserve the food, to, you know, if you're growing it yourself, you're growing it, you're harvesting it, you're preserving it. You know, there's the time and the money involved and you know me, time is money and to have jars fail because I didn't store them correctly. So <clears throat> this is this is what I recommend, and I hope that this is helpful and answers your question. Um, this is how I will be putting these into my pantry. As I empty the top one, I'll remove the box and put it you know, in storage with the rest of them to use again at a later date. These are remarkably sturdy boxes. They have lasted a really long time. I've got some in there that are six, seven years old. Um, that I keep rotating through. So, and they're pretty forgiving. You know, if they're meant for quartz, you can fit pints in them. You know, they may not be stacked perfectly, blah, 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 you know, but they are still useful. It's obviously easy for maneuvering and moving multiple jars at the same time. So if you buy new jars, keep, keep the boxes that they come in. They are really, really helpful to have. And though I love looking at my shelves, and seeing just the bare jars, you know, I will put a card on the outside of these boxes that face the front telling me what's in it. It's just more convenient, easier, uh, more efficient way of stacking eight ounce jars. So I hope again that this answered your question. Let me know how you handle this situation in your pantry in the comment section below. If you have any questions, toss them down there. This great community really jumps in and helps answer any questions when I can't get to it, and I greatly appreciate all of you. Remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Until the next time, be safe.